Coach, I wanted to ask you about the, just the center position, just an update on that position. And well, how that uh, going. I think it's going, it's going pretty well. Uh, I think one of the things that you see very quickly is Eric has developed quite a bit through this camp. Today was the first time he had a chance to really get in and work with Drew, so that was a real positive, you know, just to hear him in the huddle and how he works and uh, saw some growth there. In some cases, some growing pains, but those things are all things that we'll learn from and grow. Uh, I think Cam Tom has done a really nice job. And, of course, Nick Easton, we've slid in and out from that spot, so he's been both guard and center and feel like we got good competition there and uh, anxious to watch that battle unfold. What about our new house? He's been playing some uh, left tackle for you. Yep. What's kind of the situation with that? Well, you know, felt like really want to kind of see what he can do, especially in a two-minute situation and find out what these pass rushes are like and look at his set angles and just see if we can improve him fundamentally. And here's what he is. He's a smart player. He's a veteran player. And he's, he's, he's played some football at a pretty high level. So we're anxious to see him continue to develop. But I think so far he's had a pretty good OTA into this mini camp. What's the biggest learning curve, new guys and veterans who are coming over here to meet your expectations? What's the biggest learning curve? I think the first thing is just learning the system. That's a big thing, you know, to be able to put together how we're doing it, why we're doing it, and be able to do it consistently over and over and over. That's probably the first thing. And then I think the second thing is understanding that the speed of the game is just a little bit quicker and they're playing against better players and learning fundamentally to be consistent with what we're trying to get done. And, and I think there's still some inconsistencies in, in, the, in the newer players. One of the things I saw very quickly is Will Clapp and Cameron Tom have really improved. I've seen a lot of growth, and so you can see over a period of time, in, in Will's case, his second year, Cam his third year, starting to see some real positive things from them, and I think we'll continue to see the same thing over and over for these young guys. Coach, what if, if, this, if they went to a two-game preseason schedule, would that make it tough for you to analyze the players and, and, you know? I think what you do is you'd get a much better idea and be forced to look at these guys really in practice. Um, you know, two, two games to me for the young guys would be a little bit of a challenge. But I think after a period of time, you have a pretty good idea who your core players are. How do they play together? Are you developing the chemistry? Do they understand the variances that go with being in and out from maybe your guard to a center or center to a guard? Those things would be a little bit more of a challenge. You wouldn't quite get as much work. Have you seen anything out of McCoy that maybe you didn't see uh, in his college film? You don't really see a lot of the same things. Been happy with how he's worked. He's really an attention to detail driven guy. I think he really is passionate about learning and improving. He wants to understand why and how to do it better. And uh, we've seen growth in him. So he's, he's starting to put those things together. And, and yet there's still so much for him to learn. Cross training, I mean, playing multiple positions, versatility. That's throughout the NFL, but it's, it's vital. It's vital, and especially when you're looking at on game day, you're dressing seven guys, and you got to have to have a guy that's going to be able to play guard and center and or tackle, and that that's an awful lot to ask for, from guys. And, and uh, we've been fortunate to have the kind of players that can do that over the last couple of years. You know, Dan, last year you guys only allowed 20 sacks, which is tops in the NFC or lowest in the NFC. Uh, you did a lot of guys pulling guys in, pulling guys out with a lot of injuries. That takes a lot of teamwork to, to achieve something like that. It really does. And you got to give a lot of credit to our guys. And Brendan Nugent, who works with me very closely and does a great job with those guys. I, I think what you see is they understand how the system functions. Drew's so good about getting the ball out. Our receivers obviously are working to get themselves open, and, and our guys understand the protection patterns and how we want to work to help. And um, let's not minimize, the, the guys that have gone in are good football players, and they've done a good job. Is there any other guys that you haven't mentioned yet that have kind of grabbed your attention? Maybe some free agents or some veterans that have come in and uh, got you noticed a little bit? No, I think you've talked about the guys. There's some other guys that are making some impressions on us, but. You know, really, until the pads go on, we really don't know what we have. We, we think we're learning and understanding what to do. We're starting to try to understand how to do it. But now you've got to go really function when it counts.